Hey guys, I'm Talon, and this is Eli, and you're watching Cope Life, the only life. Let's pack a dip, Talon. <laughs> All right, let's. Oh, gotta crack the can. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Pack a lip with us if you can. Mmm, gotta love that sound. Smell a little bit. Give her a sniff. New Copenhagen Black. Just came out on the 14th. Our local smoke shop just got it yesterday. Yeah. So, we got ourselves a roll of it. Oh, yeah, you wasteful can. bastard. 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 The cut on it isn't like a original, like, Copenhagen long cut. It's more of like, uh, like a grizzly. Okay, we fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's more like a fine cut. It, it's juicy. Yeah. But before we do this review, we got a couple of things to discuss. Yeah, like first, clean that dip pile up. Don't waste it. Okay. Well, the first thing on our list is a mystery can. And Talon will explain what that is. Pretty much, at the end of the month, through all the cans we go through, we'll each have an empty can. And out of all the different kinds and flavors of dip, that we go through each last pinch will go into one can and whenever it gets filled up for a video on that I don't need to spit <laughs> what we'll do we'll be pretty much putting the whole can of mystery dips in our mouth at one time okay now we will be doing several things in this channel. Our channel is based on dip, as you can tell. Because we're stupid hicks. And the first thing that I plan on doing is a challenge. Five cans, three cans. We will both be doing this. You just tell us what flavor. I could probably only fit two cans in my mouth. And how many cans. And we'll race to see who can fit the most and who can keep it in the longest. Hell, he can fit half a tub in his mouth. Now... We will have different things going on. There will be some days we're hunting, fishing, and just fucking shit up. Pretty much. So if you want to see this shit. Oh, I got me to get a little killer filler going on. Yeah. Okay, Outlaw. Hey, I like Outlaw. Okay. If you want to see us fuck shit up and fish and hunt and dip, subscribe. Now, it's time for our review on this. What do you think about it? Well, once I first put it in, I did get like a really bourbony kind of flavor with it. So far, I really do like it. Um, I got a little soak for a little bit longer, but it does taste pretty good. Um, it seems light, but with me, it doesn't really stay packed as well. I'm my everyday dip has been Copenhagen wintergreen for about two years now um but I don't know I just think it's pretty good you, if you can pick yourself up a can of Copenhagen black and this is your first time dipping Copenhagen black right you yeah, didn't try I, the original kind I've never had the original Copenhagen black this is my first time ever having it so but yeah it's pretty good well I had to agree with you on that of course, I have had the original Copenhagen Black. That was my all-time favorite. But the way they made it now, it's a soft dip. It really it stays right here for me, but if I put it over the side, I feel like i got to move it continuously. And that is not okay right now because I went to the dentist, they fixed up my teeth, my gums hurt like hell. And yeah. And that's not from dipping. Don't say it's from dipping. <laughs> it's not from dipping. It's because they took them little hook things and beat the shit out of my gums. Yeah. And... It's just a, overall a good dip. It's got good flavor. The only thing that I don't like about it, and it does taste like bourbon, but it's got a plasticky taste. 
It's got a sweet taste, I think. Like a really sweet, like a, almost an artificial sweetener taste. Yeah. But you can definitely taste the bourbon. Yeah. It's almost like a fine cut, to be honest. Um, it's 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 very gritty. It's almost like coffee. Um, here's one of the grounds. I don't know if I can see that that well, but it's very gritty. But it's very light. Yeah. Which what I like about that. I like light dips. Um. And here pretty soon we'll be getting ourselves some of that grizzly dark select. And we'll be trying that out. If you want a challenge on that, I will gladly do a challenge on that because Grizzly's a bitch. No offense to them Grizzly Dippers, but God. And I've seen a few reviews on Grizzly Dark Select, and apparently it's supposed to, it pretty much tastes like a straight. A dark straight is what it's pretty much tasting like to other people. And I'm not a straight guy. Don't take that oddly. I do like women. <laughs> <laughs> but I cannot stand straight dips. Copenhagen Grizzly doesn't matter. This guy gets sick from any straight dip. I don't get sick. I just can't stand it. Cause I mean, I chewed for six months straight. I tell people to get me a can if I couldn't pick me up a can of Copenhagen Original on cut, which is the brown lid, and they would always get me a can of Copenhagen Straight. So I would had to chew that stuff for the longest time and I just got sick of it so now I can't chew straight at all. One of the things, one of the dips that I cannot handle personally is Decade Peppermint. You can hand me any kind of dip in the world. I'll chew, I'll chew a whole can. I'll swallow the can. I'll eat the goddamn can. <laughs> but you can hand me a can of Decade Peppermint, I'll throw it back at you. Because I don't fucking like that shit. I got sick off of it. That's the only dip I've ever gotten sick Which off. Which a while back ago, we did not make a video of this. Though we had one of our other friends over at my house. Praying gay. That's yeah, his name. Yeah, praying gay. Because he's gay. He's very homophobic. Um, But we tried doing each about a can of Decade Peppermint. Uh, Eli had about... And a can and a half, two about two cans. I had about a can, and then Prangay put about a pinch in and spit it out after like thirty seconds. Elijah had his in for uh, maybe ten minutes or so, and we were gonna see who could keep it in the longest. And I had mine in for about twenty to thirty minutes. After that, I just spit shit out because it's disgusting. But. Mm. Now, following up on this dip, I mean, after letting it sit in for a little bit longer, I know we've already talked about it, but after letting it sit in for a little bit longer, that sweetness has kind of went away. Now it's just bourbon that I taste. And I mean, it's, it's the perfect texture. It's the perfect dip. And everyone may say, oh, tough guy, oh, kayak, oh, this. No, Copenhagen Black is the way to go. I know it's only here for a short time, but while you're at it, go get yourself a roll or two. You'll thank me later. And also, this flag up here and the shirts that we're wearing right now, volunteer firefighters. Any firefighters, support your local firefighters. We do a lot for you. You took the words right out of my mouth because I was going to say support the local firefighters. Well, that's on Cope Life. The only life. Have no. a good night, ladies and gents. And don't forget, pick yourself up a can of Copenhagen Black. Fuck yeah.